Three quick things. Number one, about uh, something that surprises me with the Tangatanga Brigade is that they fight things that they believe in. Listening to Cherage, he has eloquently talked about how we need to fast track the judicial process, especially cases on corruption. That is exactly what was in BBI, which they, fo they really fought with all their uh, might. How I wish you looked at the BBI provisions on how to deal with corruption cases. And probably that is one of the reasons why BBI was not palatable to them. On uh, the issue of Martha Karua and uh, having represented Raila in court, ETC, I think what Raila was giving Kenyans was the history of his running mate. If you listen to the context with which he talked about Martha Karua's reform credentials, which no one can dispute, uh, talked about her principles, talked about her experience in government. I listened to your boss uh, in Karen, and uh, you could see the, the reason why people are gloomy in Karen, even when Gashagwa was uh, pronounced as the running mate. It's because there was nothing really to say about him. You had the deputy president talking about him being someone who believes in helping people. The next thing he said is a mobilizer. If you really want a mobilizer... He's a public servant. He's a bit of public servant. Yeah, he's but he, he only said th three things. And then he said he's a mobilizer. In fact, if you ask me, I think what Ruto would have done was to give Rigathi Gashagwa the position of Farouk Ibet. Because if you want someone who mobilizes for you uh, political rallies, then that cannot be our running... I mean, our deputy president. That can't be the qualification for a running mate. Uh, but finally, that's what he, perhaps the ticket needed. To do what? To, 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 to find a mobilizer. Uh, then, then we have a president who doesn't know what a, pre a deputy president is all about. And that is a person who should not be our president. That's what I'm saying in short. That if you don't know even the qualities that a deputy president should have, that your first prior, uh, qualification is a mobilizer for political rallies to heckle people uh, in funerals, then honestly, you don't deserve to be president. That cannot be the deputy president. That can do the work of, and I want to repeat, Farouk Kibet. The current role of Farouk Kibet in his government is what he can do. Finally, you see, Cherage, on this question of integrity and accountability, look at it, what is happening now. Sonko, who you yourself, the Senate, impeached or confirmed this impeachment, is running for governor again in Mombasa. You are impeached in Nairobi, you go and run in, Mumba, in Mombasa. You know, it doesn't make sense. If you are an impeached governor, like Waititu was impeached in Kiambu, then you, another election comes and you want to run. Kenya, we must set standards. Kenyans, we must live to the spirit of chapter six of our constitution. But if so, not, then we delete it from yeah, the constitution. But so called, I mean, before I go to Chargay uh, to respond to this, he's in Azimio, but it's your coalition. Well, well, that he that he is. No, he's in Azimio. And those are the bad manners that I, let me tell you, I am not saying that everything Azimio is right. We have to question ourselves, including some of the decisions we make. I have personally said it several times. I don't agree with giving someone like Sonko a ticket, allowing some people even to run an ODM ticket. But a decision is made collectively. Let me uh, give you another example. I personally disagreed with the idea of uh, supporting Anwai Guru. She should have come out on her own to explain the embezzlement of funds of Kirinyaga County. People should be held accountable but for the their actions. But the handshake, you know, supported her in that time. No, the, the, the handshake does not vote in the Senate. No, it's individual members. Let me tell you. It, James, it was a whole coalition. James, let me tell you. Buddy. Sometimes individual members of parliament use uh, for their own selfish interests. They use coalitions. They use political parties. If something is wrong, you say it. I said it, and it was on paper. Some people said, uh, uh, Raila, people have disagreed. That is my stand. At times, you need to speak your mind. It remains on record. I don't support the idea of people who are impeached running. But I don't support the idea of people who have been implicated on corruption cases, again, running or remaining in office. And that is why I wanted Obadu to be impeached in Migori. 
and it's on record as we finish that point that ODM senators voted to yes that is that is on record Anwar. that is on record okay. and I don't agree with it okay, it was wrong <laughs> okay great and he's the national chairman of the, but the I'm party. on record yeah. even that I mean, he should no, have no, called no, a parliamentary no, caucus James, or James, senate caucus yes. I <laughs> am on record it is not something I'm saying today you go to the newspapers I'm on record for saying that let Waiguru carry her own cross. Okay. Uh, uh, and again, I'm on record today. Uh, okay. 